Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Now, my idea for this episode is basically to make a Halloween themed, um, like, tycoon park. A Halloween theme park. And on October 31st, I'm going to try to, uh, try to put out a very special episode. But first, without further ado, let's go on ahead and get started. Now, I've taken the liberty of just going ahead and starting off with the basic regular park that you start with and I figure I'm gonna try to use the whole land like you only really need one good square to start off with but I figure if I use all of it then I get to use the transport methods so let's see I wanna let first I'm gonna oh yeah that's right I was gonna tell you uh, I'm gonna do all of this but I'm gonna fast forward through it. So you'll see the footage here, but I'm just gonna to try to fast forward through all of the little editing processes, and then when I get done with the actual land terrain generation and all the little uh, mess arounds, then I'll go on ahead and um, continue adding rides and attractions and stuff. Okay, so I'll see you there.
What do you think? Pretty nice, huh? So that was the fast forward of just the basic general park uh, construct, not really construction, but design of the overall park. I added in a lot of sort of marshy, greenish, muddy terrain areas. Maybe that could be like some swamp. We've got some dark, rocky outcroppings. Tried to put most of the uh, creepy elm trees over in the in the green grasses area. Some of those uh, creepy like stump trees on the tops of the hills there. I don't know if I'm going to keep those because it looks like the, ru the root system is actually running off of the entire hill, which I'm not really too fond of. But um, it looks like it's not going to turn out too bad. It, it might turn out uh, okay. We're going to look around and see... Um, what basically I can add any hills or valleys, peaks and dips that I want later on and we'll start putting down our first rides and paths to those rides right about now and obviously I can you know like move around whatever I need to move around later on and um, there's also a building editor that I can go in and create specific buildings later on so let's try and put down one of our first rides and we're gonna stick with the Halloween theme here. I think it's already set to the Halloween theme for pretty much all the rides. Let's see, we've got coasters. I'll build those separately and load them in. So the first mo ride we have is Monster Ride. That's like that's like their ch uh, Ferris wheel thing. And it's like, not, not Ferris wheel, what's it called? Merry-Go-Round. It's like their version of the Merry-Go-Round. It's so cool. It's got Frankenstein on it and the mummy and vampire Frankenstein's monster yeah cuz it's not Frankenstein it's Frankenstein's monster can I I can place these right in the trees well let's place it amongst the trees just off the beaten path okay so it's gonna delete a couple of trees but it's right in there with the trees now it starts off with these nice spider web designs and the entrance is gonna be this cool Dracula sort of entrance I'm gonna put that on this side and then the exit on this side and then we'll create some paths to that I guess now. Now we'll create paths. Let let people go there. So let's start with the Q path. Uh, we're going to make it spooky, adventure, generic, western, sci-fi. Obviously spooky. Gotta be spooky. Okay, so I'm going to hold. How do you do that again? Shift? Is it shift and click? Um, there's, a, there's a way to... Yeah, there we go. Just, just click and drag. Okay, that seems like a long enough uh, line. And obviously the exit path isn't going to need a line. And I checked all these out in the test park. And it looked like the best one for my purposes was leaf. You wouldn't think it would be, but it seems to match in real nice with the grass there, as you can see. Okay, so that's going to be the path off. And I need to connect the path on to the Q path. So, where on the name of Good Gravy is the park entrance? Yo, peeps, where you at? Where, uh, zoom out, Johnson. Bingo! Oh, God, I was right on top of it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 come over here. Come over this way. Come over this way. This way, this way, this way. Yeah! Okay, so this one here, and then do 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 and then boop, 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 and then you're in there. Actually, I don't need any of this. Um, I only need... There. Take that out and that out. And with that, we have our first ride. Let's put it into test mode. Oh, shoot. I just deleted a tree. Uh, I mean, it's no big deal, but hang on. Let's test this. We don't really have to test it since it's not a roller coaster. I just want to give it something to do while the peeps show up. That was never gone. Okay. So let's exit that. Close this out. And then we're going to go oh, back to our ride and click open. And now they'll be able to get on it. Oh, it's so cool. It's got green lights and everything. Look at it. They can't even figure out where the entrance is. It's over here, dummies. Okay. Now that's our ride. We want to go to the details section. And let's see. That's the operating mode. With that, I can speed it up and slow it down. I'm going to see later on how fast I can make it. Um, we've got, do 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 there's no guest, ah yes, we need mu music, music, 
I'm going to add my own personal music from the YouTube's Creative Commons library later on. Uh, or maybe from the, um, what's it called? Not Contributions. I, I, yeah, I think I, oh, Attributions. I called it Attributions. I have two separate folders. One for Creative Commons and one for Attributions, where you have to accredit the author of the original music. But I have two folders for them, so whenever I need to add music from either one of them, I can just add it into the game whenever I please. And the great, we're going to go with Haunted House for this one. Monster Ride 1. I'll give them fancy names later on, or maybe you guys can name them. If there's any names in the comment section and you suggest anything really cool, let me know and I might even name it after what you named it. Oh, it sounds so cool. And I, I love giving it custom colors and anything. Want to test it out real quick? Wait, no. I, I, I want to I I save the rides. I don't want to ride any of the rides until Halloween, like October 31st. As a matter of fact, none of you get to ride the rides until Halloween. Park is closed. Get out. <laughs> oh, they're so disappointed. It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. It's not ready. The park should be closed. Where, where, Where's the closed park option? Can I close the park? Hang on. Uh, there is a closed park option. I know there is. Okay, uh, park operations, awards, marketing, value, land management. There it is, park closed. The park is closed. Everybody get out. We haven't opened yet. It's not official. It's not official. We're still setting up. I mean, seriously, when have you ever been to a theme park where they're like, welcome to Disneyland. We've got one ride. That doesn't happen. So the park's, the park's not, it's not necessarily closed. It's just not open yet. So without further ado, let's move on to the next ride. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, and the stands. Have you seen the stands? They're great. I've wanted to do this for years, that's why I'm so excited. I can tone it down a bit before people think I'm faking it. They'll be like, oh, you're just trying to act really excited so you'll get more views. Look at this thing. This thing is amazing. It's a skull. You, you've been on, um, and I'm from Florida, but not just any old Florida, Bay County, Florida. Um, there's not much in Bay County. There's stuff nearby Bay County, but you got to drive... 60 miles out of town and go to Fort Walton or you know drive way out of town and go to Disney or something to get something really special years ago we had a place called Miracle Strip and they had some nice rides but it wasn't much everything was really tightly packed this is basically the scary Halloween equivalent of a chair swing uh, got like some skulls with some swings on there I missed a spot with trees since I missed that I guess what I'll do is I'll put it here and then put trees around it. So it doesn't really matter which way it's facing. So let's get the entrance and exit in, put a couple of trees nearby it. And you know what I, uh, actually let's go with the bat topiaries, I like those. And press the Z key to face them in random directions. I don't want them all in the same direction. I know we're going for, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, we're going for symmetry here, but not too much symmetry because that, that's just, it gets to look generic, you know. When you put too much symmetry right next to each other, it just becomes generic. So we're going to go on ahead and connect this to the main path. Then we're going to have our Q path. Wait, which one did I pick? Spooky, right? Yeah. We're going to go just zigzag. I, I saw that technique on another channel that I really like. It's it's just great. Zigzag pattern. And then you can put little ad additional de decorations there. Like stands, food stand, maybe a food stand right there. As a matter of fact, let's get our first stand. A pumpkin pie. You can get your pumpkin pies here right when you exit. It's kind of nice. Uh, they gotta have something to drink too, right? Oh yeah, the spooky shakes is Dracula. Let's put it over near the, the other ride. Where's a good spot for that? Like right as people are getting off. So they enter, da 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 da, they get off, so let's put it here. They're gonna be thirsty after their ride. Oh, that is so cool. Spooky shakes. And I'm gonna name all the attractions, all the rides and all the different um, stands and everything. And October the 31st, I'm gonna try to make it really special by creating my own little I, I kind of I kind of want to keep some of that a surprise. So let's move to the next ride, shall we? I know I'm going really fast, but 
It'll be all right. Everybody will keep up just fine. Look at this spider top spinner. It is a giant tarantula. I, oh, my God. I love the color on that thing. Do you see that? That is creepy. Oh, I can't wait to add music to it. I know it's kind of bland right now without the music, but in about 17 minutes, since the recording is on 17 minutes, I'm going to go on ahead and end it here and then combine that with the fast forward of the park spray paint um, coloring and land raising and what would you call that? Uh, graph, like like graphic designing or whatever. You know, I was just putting the park together. Where, we, we want to use, how much land do we have left? We want to use the whole thing, so we need to space these rides out pretty good. So I'm going to put this one near the next patch of green. How about over here and get some plants nearby it? Yeah, oh, oh, got to zoom in for the entrance and exit. I can barely see there. So, entrance, exit, it just turned nighttime. I literally thought the game crashed. Um, we need our Q path. Q path is spooky. And we're going to doop, 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 doop. Uh, I should have I curved it towards the ride, not away. Uh, what was that last Q path? That looks pretty interesting. Adventure? How does that look? That looks kind of interesting. Hold on. Let me let me knock out some of this. Just some of this real quick. Because the Adventure Cue Path is awfully green looking. And green is kind of slimy and goes with our uh, sort of... Ooh, that's nice. Because I know what they're thinking. They're thinking like an RPG castle type adventure. But if you look closely at that limestone, see the green there? That kind of like... like rotten sort of castle Dracula looking green. I like it. It matches the grass. Some of our rides are going to go with that. I just, I can't help it. I mean, look at how nicely it, it just meshes with those flower, like spider web designs. That's just, that's impressive. I'm sorry. It just is. So, why not try out the crazy paving as well? Ooh. Mm, I don't like what that does to the underside of the pavement. I really don't. What about, what about if we went with leaves for the first slot, and then can we go with crazy paving after that? Let's find out. Yes, we can. I like that. I like that because then it's like leaves, you know, uh, you know, sort of unofficial. People are just getting off the ride. Then they come back on to a you know traditional full-on path, and I can obviously change it later on if I need to. But that actually doesn't look too bad and obviously I don't need to zigzag the exit because people are just leaving they don't really need to get on and to make sure I don't forget any rides I might as well connect it to the traditional like uh, connect it to the official path from the get-go as an, and as a matter of fact I want to make just real quick take out that basic default at like asphalt entrance it's it's garbage, it's terrible, it's got to go. Do 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 do. Just straightforward. Then we're going to zoom out, get a couple up, we can take out two or three of our trees, get a couple more of those, and then connect this all the way to our leaf path and then connect this out all the way over to some of our other rides. We're going to go zigzag around there. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh my. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get that Let's get that out of there. And I, I won't worry about taking out the too many of the additional extra, you know, boo-boos. Uh, because uh, some of those zigzags and patterns and boo-boos, they make non-geometric, uh, non-generic shapes. Which, um, geometric shapes are not, what was it? Uh, geometric shapes perfect geometric shapes are not present in nature and I want this to be very natural looking obviously with the grass and the trees and the swampy looks you know it's very rustic uh, and natural looking so we're not going for a lot of geometric um, man-made shapes so we'll do 13 minutes left remaining in the recording we've got time for a few more rides really we just did the spider's top spinner now I don't know if I'll be able to do any water-based rides unless I can theme them somehow like change them around and give them like 
I don't know, uh, um, like Halloween themed um, boats or what have you. Ghost House Ride. I remember that one. Now, if you've ever been to Miracle Strip, you'll remember the old uh, Ghost House Ride they had on that one. That was fun. I can put this amongst the trees, but again, we got to make sure we use plenty of our room because we got a big park to fill. So let's go over here. Oh, oh, I love it. Tuck it in that nice little corner there. Now, the thing I love about this is it'll be way up on stilts if I decide to put it up on a hill. But then... It, it would have a very nice view. Like, from the front of the park, you'd see this big towering house. Uh, but the stilts kind of... They kind of bug me. They kind of bug me. Maybe if I can color them. I'll see if I can color them. If not, I'll move it later. And I gotta, I gotta stop covering my mouth. You might not be able to hear me with the mic so so well. I wonder if it's better over here. Not sure. But anyway, let's press Z button until it's facing towards the park entrance, and then get it right on the edge there. Ooh, that's nice. And then obviously we're going to have to build the queue and exit paths down. So. Let's get a good zoom in on this. Okay, we need to edge you down. And unfortunately, I can't zigzag with the, um, I can't zigzag and um, angle down at the same time, unfortunately. That I know of, can I? Can I? I can if I level it out. Maybe I should, ooh, maybe I should do that. Hang on. So we can angle down and then level out and then angle down and then level out and just do that in a pattern. Wait a minute. What the heck? Oh wow, I can go at a slight angle. I didn't know I could do that. I thought it had to be all stairs or all not. Look at this. Complete, hold on. Completely flat, totally neutral, slight angle, full angle, and then slight angle, neutral, slight angle up, Full angle up. So slight angle does not add the stairs. Um, full angle does. So let's go neutral. And then, oh wait, wait, wait. Neutral and then angle down. And then neutral. And then angle down. And you see what we're doing here? We're making way stations, basically. I missed a spot, though. Hang on. I'm sorry. I got I to gotta make sure I don't do this whole redo thing too often because that that turns away viewers so don't let it turn you away just when I'm uh, tweaking little things very um, very rarely will I tweak things on camera of course mind you um, off camera is normally when I will do most of my tweaking as I believe that is what is preferred now that's at a slight angle up I need that to be neutral Yep. I said neutral, at da, 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 neutral, and then full angle down, and look, we're almost there. And then I think one more neutral base, and we should have it, and then the full angle down to the ground, and then boom, we are here. So they go up there, so they, they've got quite a bit to go, <laughs> but you know, at least it makes for a nice line so that you know it, it doesn't get backed up with just this straight line going all the way back to the entrance of the park. Now, I'm actually going to have to angle this a, a little bit to avoid crashing into the other, uh, into the queue for the entrance. So we're going to get this all the way down to the ground, right there, and then boom, exit. Oh, it looks beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at that house up on a hill and I might not even need to color these because they don't look metallic they, you know they got that rustic wood feel I mean heck I think they actually are wood yep they're wood so we are good with wood <laughs> uh, R Russ Robo 28 or 2017 oh man this is looking great so far oh just let me let me let me just zoom in on this let me just let me just take this in oh that's nice isn't that nice <laughs> Let's see, what do we want now? Next ride. Or do we have any more stands? We've got our food. Is that really? Let's try some other, like, do, are any of the other themed stands at least 
slightly, you know, similar enough. Oh, the Dino Burger. I like that. It's got a big old claw, you know, like a horrific claw of a of an evil monster coming at you. Basic burgers, no. Basic chicken, no. Cookies, no. So the generic stuff is pretty much out, but I might use that Dino Burger. Donuts. Because, I mean, if you only have one option for drink and you have one option, I, I keep doing this for two and then do this and I almost do the bird. <laughs> Gotta not do that. But um, if you have two options, two options, and you've got one option for drink and one option for food, and you're going to need multiples, and it's going to look just overdone with the same stalls everywhere. So we got to figure out, you know, at least one or two other things that we can use. Okay, so for our, for our alternate food stall, it's going to be the Dino Burger. I'm, I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm I'm a hundred percent on that, because I mean, it makes me think of you know, a monster, you know, clawing, you know, but uh, let's see, we need drink uh, alternatives now, coconut drinks, coffee, <laughs> you know how much I love my coffee, but maybe not today, lemonade, rocket boost, root beer, ooh, space drinks, space oh space shake, that sounds cool, spooky shakes, dang. There is another thing I could do. If I can make a building, like if I can make a haunted house in the uh, in the sandbox editor, because this game also has an editing mode where you can build specific buildings. If I can make a building and then just put the spooky shake in it, I can make it look different that way, but we'll have to see. I'm not sure about that. And obviously we're going to we're going to need Oh, uh let's 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 take these out. Because I think we've got plenty of options for, um, yeah, spooky stuff. Spooky hats. Uh, spooky hats. Get your spooky hats here. I think stalls should be near the front of the park. I just, I know that there's a lot left to be used. There's quite a bit. But the reason I decided to go with the full park is because I'm planning on trying to figure out how to use the uh, transportation options. Because there are... Ways that you can make things like trains and um, different transportation uh, type rides. As a matter of fact, I'll show you. Right here, other rides and attractions, transport rides. <clears throat> Excuse me. You got your airboat, chairlift, elephant transport, uh, elevator, uh, hop on, hop off, mini railway. Now, that's the one I'm thinking of trying to spook up. Like, you know, changing its color scheme to make it look Halloween. Because, I mean, trains, they go with Halloween. You know, picture a, a dark midnight. You see nothing but the eerie trees off in the distance. It's pitch black. You just finished reading a Stephen King novel. And all you hear is... Ooh, ooh. And there's nothing else. Just that light off in the eerie distance. And then that's... And then... Fade to black. <laughs> so yeah, that's the one I'm going to try to spook up. Uh, we've got car check... Oh wait. No, those are other rides and attractions. Now, this is cool. Because Ghost Train... It's kind of a do it or don't do it sort of thing because they do have Ghost Train and Haunted Hotel and you can make sort of like themed rides out of those and you can make your own custom track but it's really, really, really slow and it only holds like two people. So I'm not sure if it's mainly for aesthetics or if it's mainly you're supposed to build a house around it like a haunted house around it and then put it inside of that, like the actual haunted house rides. Like for example, we've got three minutes left. Let me show you an example here. This haunted house ride that the peeps can actually ride, you can, you know, click on it, test it, double click on it. Now that's the coaster cam that allows you to ride it, but this is the ride. It doesn't actually take you inside the ride. But if you were at Miracle Strip, 
or Six Flags or Disney World or wherever, you would be on one of those carts inside the haunted house. Everybody's been to Halloween Horror Nights where you get on the little carts like these and it goes inside the house and there's like, um, you know, axe murderers and freaky stuff happening and the electric, uh, the electrified fences and all the hanging skeletons. You know, I figure they want you to use the building editor and try to build that and then put the ride inside of it, which wouldn't necessarily be easy. Oh, and here's the park at late, late night. Now that is spooky. I don't care who you are. That's spooky. But anyway, with about a minute and 40 seconds left on the recording, I'll go ahead and end it here for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, likes are always appreciated. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe for updates on... Uh, for, uh, bleh. <laughs> Subscribe for updates on future content, and until next time, take it easy, my friends.